Hey YouTube, um, this is a 12-horse uh, Briggs & Stratton engine. Um, it goes on a Gilson lawn tractor, garden tractor. Um, it's a 1969. Um, this is a 12-horse Briggs & Stratton and I took it off. Um, I just got done taking it apart. Um, it's all cleaned up. That's why it's on my floor in my kitchen. But um, it's, um, it's, I sandblasted it and painted it before I took it apart, so it's all pretty clean. The inside's all cleaned out. So, um, yeah, this, this is it. It's in pretty good shape. I was kind of surprised. Um, it's got a stuck valve. I'm going to have to fix that. I'm going to probably get both valves redone. Maybe I get a machined or something. Um, it's in pretty good shape. I couldn't find the um, oversized pistons for this model engine anymore. I guess they don't make them. They used to make them. I guess they're obsolete. Um, but I did find a standard piston, so I, I'm going to put a new piston in it, new rings. Um, I did find the connecting rod. Uh, it's the undersized connecting rod for the crankshaft, so I am going to put that on. I'll have it machined and, and turned. So I'll have a new connecting rod, a new piston, new rings, and that'll be pretty good. Um, there's the rest of the parts. Well, um, a couple of things that I want to do with it, that I'm going to do with it, is on the side of the engine block here, there's two bushings that stick out through the side of the engine. Uh, one is for the points, and the other one is for the governor. And if you look at the one for the for the points, which is right here, this is your points plunger. This rides against the camshaft and opens and closes your um, your points. And if you look, there's a lot of side-to-side -side play in that bushing. And so what'll happen is the inside of this engine is splashing oil, and so oil will leak through that bushing. And if this cover's on, it'll probably fill that cover up with oil, and then you'll have um, problems, you know, with your spark. So um, this engine, somebody had taken the points cover off of it, and it just used it without the points cover. So that was their fix for it. So I'm going to do something a little more permanent than that. I, I have the points cover. I think I'm going to put it back on. <laughs> but um, this other one here is for the governor. And I can show you what the governor looks like. It is right there. This is what is on the inside. It's a gear. And um, it has these two little things that slide out when it speeds up. And they just kind of do that. And they push on this which is your governor. And that's on the inside. And this is what sticks out of the engine, right there. The part that's painted red. So that's the governor. And that's what that looks like. Now on the inside of the engine, I'll show you that so you can see it. And there you go. There's the camshaft. And then the points plunger. You can see it, it rides on the camshaft. Going up and down with it, like that. And uh, yeah, I just gotta, I gotta figure out how to get those two bushings out. They're just brass, so I'm thinking I can probably just, you know, smack them out with a block of wood and a hammer. Or if that doesn't work, maybe I'll just carefully drill them out and, and then try to knock them out. So that's, that's what that looks like. That's what the inside of the engine block looks like. And let's see, what else? On the side of the engine, there's these two covers here. On both sides. And that's where the timing is set. There's there's two big gears. Like that. And then there's a, another gear like that. And that's that's how you set your, your timing. And then the covers. See, I like these. This old cast iron engine. They don't really build things like this anymore. This here is, it's got a nice big bearing here, first of all. And um, this is like a counterbalance weight for your crankshaft. So that, I guess, to help, you know, vibration and all. Um, it's pretty neat. And it sounds pretty good. It's real clean. This is really clean. There's, I don't hear anything when I spin it. So they sound pretty good. And then here's the, uh, the crankshaft. Crankshaft has some big bearings on it too. It's pretty, pretty cool. Um, I'm probably gonna replace these two bearings because they uh, make a little noise when I spin them. 
So these these I'm going to replace. And um, that's it. And there's the weight of the crankshaft. That's what those counterbalance things must, you know, counterbalance. <laughs> um, that's it. And this gear here is what rides against your cam. And that's what that looks like. Connect and run. I'm gonna. I got a new piston for it, and I'm gonna probably have this machine down. I got an undersized rod. Um, they only came 20 undersized, so that's what I'm gonna have done to the crankshaft. You know? <clears throat> anyway, um, on the side of the engine here, right there, that's where the. Um, the keepers are for the valves, so if you need to take your valves out or put new ones in, that's that's where you'd release them, right there. There's two springs and there's some some keepers just to take them out. And so that's what that's what these these old cast iron Briggs and Stratton engines look like. So um, well, I hope this was helpful. I, I didn't know if anybody had one of these engines or is just you know working on it, you know, doing doing what I'm doing, so I figured I'd, uh, I'd show you guys. Hope you enjoyed it.